Weaving, GCDs, OGCDs, there's a lot of names that it goes by, but ultimately weaving is one of the most important things in Final Fantasy XIV, whether you're a new player, a sprout, a beginner, or advanced, savage tier, more so that. In this video, I want to talk about what GCDs, OGCDs, and what weaving is. I touched on this on my recent video for Practical Astro Healing Guide, but I got a lot of questions to go a little bit deeper into GCDs and OGCDs. To be able to talk about weaving, we have to understand what a GCD is. A GCD stands for Global cooldown. There are three different jobs that I'm going to show you a healer, a DPS, and a gunbreaker in order to explain this as easily as I possibly can for casuals and people who don't really understand what weaving is. Basically, a GCD is usually your combo with around a 2.5 second cooldown. Now, this changes with some jobs, but most of the time it's your main combo attack that you find. So for Tank Gunbreaker, who's going to be my example today, you'll see we have Keen Edge, Brutal Shell, and Solid Barrel. If you look, the recast times are 2.38. Well, this will change, but the global cooldown time is 2.5. This is obviously going to change when you have spell speed, skill speed, or other abilities that increase this recast time, such as Astro's ability Astrodyne that will decrease this by 10%. Most melee DPS have an ability or a trait that will decrease this as well. Monk being one of the fastest and theirs go down to like one point nine or something like that. So these are just your regular GCD on the global cooldown around 2.5 combo. If we cast it here on the striking dummy, you'll see that we go from brutal shell and you'll see kind of the dark line that goes all the way around. The yellow line just means that it's a combo from the previous skill. Usually you always wanna use these yellow borders first and then you'll see it cool down again. We can't go any faster than the 2.38 cast time or recast time. And I almost did mess up there. We have a cast time and a recast time. These are not necessarily the same thing. On a lot of melee DPS and you have instant cast times with a 2.38 recast time. On spellcasters and some farther away abilities, you will have an actual cast time, which we'll go over when we go to healer or to red mage. An OGCD is considered something that does not reset this cast time. So a good example of this is Sonic Break. You'll see that it has a recast time of 57, second, 57 seconds and 24 milliseconds, I think is the last part. But this is not considered an OGCD. And the reason being is when you cast it, it will reset your GCDs. So if we cast it now, you'll see that all my GCDs will reset. This wouldn't necessarily be considered an OGCD because it resets everything. An OGCD stands for off global cooldown, which means when you cast it, it does not reset that 2.5 timer for your other combos. The reason this is important is because when we talk about weaving, essentially what you're doing is weaving in between GCDs, global cooldowns, and OGCDs, off global cooldowns. The whole theory behind it is that you're able to cast an OGCD before your regular 2.5 GCD combo resets, allowing you to optimize your DPS. An example here of that would be Blasting Zone. This is an OGCD. It does not reset your GCD combo. So essentially, you can use this between Keen Edge and Brutal Shell, which I will do here. So if you see when I did Keen Edge and then Blast Zone, I was still able to hit Brutal Shell at that 2.38 second recast time. Again, this is really important because this is what allows you to output more damage by understanding what are GCDs and what are OGCDs. 
Gunbreaker also has a really great example with their Nashing Fang combo and continuation. This is basically when you're weaving very fast skills back and forth and is kind of prevalent on other jobs. They recently just minimized the button, so now it's only two, which is awesome, and you're pretty much going to be going back and forth weaving between Nashing Fang and continuation. If you see here, it changes as you're using the abilities. And the whole point of this is to be able to weave continuation in between the gnashing fang combo. These are considered a GCD, even though the recast timer is 28.62 seconds. Most GCDs you can figure out by how they're categorized. So on Gunbreaker, you see the weapon skill right under the keen edge combo. If you look at continuation, this is an ability. So this tells you that it's an OGCD. Now, I'm not total all knowing. I'm not sure if some GCDs can be labeled as abilities, but from what I've seen, usually abilities are OGCDs. As you see here, everything here is a OGCD, an ability which you can weave in between. Lightning shot being a weapon skill. So that means it will reset your GCD combo. So if we use lightning shot, which is your range aggro attack, you'll notice that your OGCDs will reset. And this is going to be prevalent on every job that you play. You'll want to understand that you don't want to wait for those GCDs to reset to weave in OGCDs. So setting up your hotbar and your cross hotbar accordingly is very important. If we go on to Red Mage, this is a really good example of weaving GCDs. Red Mage's job rotation is dual casting or job specific abilities are dual casting where you're essentially casting a spell and then weaving in an instant cast spell. So we'll start with Jolt and you'll see you have dual cast. This allows you now to use Ver Arrow or Ver Thunder. And you'll see that we have a recast timer of 2.39 seconds. When you have one of your other Verstone or Verfire procs, you would cast that instead of Jolt. But if you see when you cast Ver Arrow, that it does reset your GCD combos. This isn't technically weaving because you are using spells which are considered a GCD and your weapon or melee attack is weapon skill. So these are considered GCDs as well. Well, where the weaving comes into play is actually with Fletch and with Contra 6. Contra 6, I'm just gonna say Contra 6. You can weave these two abilities in between your spells and your instant cast. I'm not gonna talk about, of course, optimal rotation. I'm just giving you an example. So if we were to cast Jolt and then Ver Arrow, Right after that, we can cast Fletch, and I'm still able to cast Jolt and Ver Thunder on the same GCD rotation. So essentially, instead of just casting four abilities, I've casted six, which has increased my potency to a 700 and 930, I believe, if I'm doing my math correctly, which I don't have a calculator on me. So essentially, this is why you want to weave. The last example that I want to give you is with healers, as it's super important with all jobs, but I feel healers specifically really benefit from understanding what GCDs and OGCDs are. Because when you're having to take time to cast something, say a healing spell, then that's a GCD you are missing on your DPS, which is why they have optimal openers and consider using OGCDs above all else. Astro is the perfect example of this, where if I cast Malefic, I can weave and play in between and then play the card. As you see, I'm going back and forth between casting Malefic and an OGCD, and I'm still optimizing my damage to stay within DPS damage. The reason for this is you don't want to just be casting four OGCDs at once as you're not going to be able to keep up damage while you're playing through the game. An example of this would be casting Celestial Opposition, Earthly Star, and collective unconscious. Even though we are able to cast all those at the same time, I'm now no longer doing DPS and contributing to my party. The more optimized rotation to the same exact skills would be Malefic, Celestial Opposition, Malefic, Earthly Star, Malefic, and Collective Unconscious. 
You see now that casting the same three abilities, but weaving in, or I should say casting male fic and then weaving in these abilities, I've now contributed a total of 750 DPS to the boss while still healing my party. This is why it's very important to understand when casting a GCD and OGCD. If I was to instead use GCD healing, which as later you get into the game, it's more frowned upon. Not that you couldn't do it, but the whole point of healer is not only to heal, but also contribute DPS damage mitigation along with everything else, which is why healer can be difficult to play and to optimize. But once you get it, it's so very very easy. So if I was to stop DPSing and instead heal the party, Benefic 2. As you can see here, I'm not able to weave in male fix because these are both GCDs, which is why we tend to use OGCD heals over GCD heals. I was reading a very interesting article that someone said that healers should be able to heal specifically. If you think about it, someone replied with this answer and it really just resonated with me is that the concept Content that Square Enix puts out is formed for a party of four, not for two DPS and one tank and a healer's added in. It is formed for DPS from all four party members. So this is why you want to make sure that you are DPSing as a healer, as well as any other job. You really shouldn't be just standing there. There's always an ability you could be casting. This is just a really basic explanation and overview of weaving. And I really hope that this gets you kind of excited to jump a little bit deeper into weaving because this is really where you start to optimize and provide the most benefit to the party as a healer, DPS, or tank. Understanding this theory and concept can be really difficult. My best advice is to just come to a practice dummy and look up a general or optimized rotation and just practice on the practice dummy. You don't have to jump into Savage. You don't have to do any of that. This could be super beneficial for casual content as if we're all contributing a little bit more efficiently then content goes by a lot quicker my goal is to just get people to start understanding what weaving and gcds and ogcds are to not only help the people around you but also help yourself and have more fun in the game i personally think there's no better feeling than when you hit that gcd combo and weave um almost all optimally and you can see how much dps and healing or dps and ogcds that you're able to throw in and your damage input i really like to shoot for being second on that dps aggro list i really hope you got something out of this video and if you have any questions or want any help then feel free to comment down in the comment section give me some of your resources that you like to look up when you're looking for the optimal rotations Generally, Balance Discord is the best place to go, but if you don't have Discord, there's also other websites like Salted XIV, SaltedFinalFantasy14.com. They're a really good resource for understanding GCDs and OGCDs. I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, then let me break through that subscribe button down below. If you want to join my Discord or connect with me on social media, you can click that Linktree link in the description box down below. And I just want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters as if it was wasn't for you guys, then I wouldn't be able to put out content like this. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides, then you can click here.